Hi right, guys, Piff here. Welcome back. Today, I am upgrading both primary and secondary storages of my Acer Aspire 5. I bought this laptop just a year ago for my father, but since it's gone now, the one using this is my daughter for her schooling and also for creating contents. I actually like this laptop a lot since it's so light and portable. It has a good battery life and basically fast for everyday internet and office use. The only downside is memory, both primary and secondary. It only has 4 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of NVMe SSD. Alex needs some upgrade. What do you know? I got some spare parts from my previous Omen upgrade. So, let's do this. To start off, we'll flip the laptop exposing the bottom part. I have an Acer Aspire 5 model N19H2 or A514-53-395P to be exact. There are 10 screws securing the bottom cover. Here are 3 short screws, 6 slightly longer screws, and 1 hidden screw behind the warranty sticker. I still have 1 year of warranty left and removing this sticker will void my warranty. But having the laptop serviced by someone very far away from me is definitely more hassle than help. I'll take my chances. Use a spudger to pry it open. Plastic spudgers are preferred since it will not produce any scratches or dents compared to metallic ones. With the cover off, the internals are now exposed. We can already see one available slot for our RAM since the 4GB is built in on the board. A large space for our 2.5 inch drive is also visible. Let's begin with the RAM upgrade. According to most sources, this laptop supports a maximum of 12 gigs of DDR4 SD RAM. I'm using a spare Hynix 8 gigs DDR4 2666 left over from my previous Omen upgrade. So adding 8 will max it out. Next is to remove the battery connection to ensure that no power is going into the board while I'm doing stuff. It's better to be safe than sorry. Gently pull the sides of the terminal as shown here. Patience is the key. Time to insert the RAM into the slot. Be sure to align the notch properly to the correct direction. Press both sides down to lock it in place. The laptop includes a free 2.5 inch storage upgrade kit. It includes a frame, SATA flex cable, and 8 screws.
you can't add another HDD or SSD if you don't have this kit. So be sure to check it out if you're buying the laptop used. I recently upgraded my Omen's laptop's data drive to 4TB so this Hitachi HGST 1TB HDD will be going to this laptop. First, we attach the SATA cable to the drive. When installed, it should be placed like this. The SATA slot is beside the Wi-Fi card. The battery and a flex cable is in the way. The drive frame should be placed as shown. The four screw holes should be aligned properly. Next, to install the frame to the drive. Secure it using the four black screws included with the kit. Next is to remove the battery. Remove the two screws on each side. You need a smaller precision screwdriver to do this. The tape should also come off too. Now remove the battery. Next, detach the flex cable that spans across the storage area. You can detach either side. Align the holes and secure them with screws. Like the battery, you need a smaller precision screwdriver to do this. Next, insert the SATA flex cable to its slot. Be careful in handling flex cables at their slots. They can be very fragile, especially on older machines. The next flex cable is the hardest one to connect. You can use the other side if this is difficult for you. You'll probably have an easier time on the slim 7mm drives. Next, reinstall the battery. Then cover. As I've said in my previous videos, only screw the cover if you don't see any problems or issues with your upgrade or installations. The moment of truth. Drum roll. Press F2 to boot into BIOS. We can already see the Hitachi HGST drive detected as HDD0, and our RAM is now 12,288 MB. 
no boot error. Good. Success! The laptop detected all my new upgrades. With the new upgrades comes new possibilities. The RAM upgrade was quite spot on. I had this 8GB RAM left over from my previous Omen upgrade. It was just sitting there in my closet for years. Then this laptop supported it. I was thinking of buying her an SSD but since she's only using this as a data drive, I don't think she'll need that. And I hope she likes it. Ano mo anda? Ano ko mo anda? Whoa! And that concludes my Acer Aspire 5 upgrade tutorial. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll do some repasting if any one of you guys want some. So be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe for more unboxings and tutorials. You can also check out Alex's channel here if you're into music and stuff. As always, keep safe. God bless.